Wing Chun inside the cage. Like, it works. That's the position. He, he, he actually used Wing Chun in the fight with Pettis. He trapped his hand and hit him with an elbow once. I remember watching it going, like, holy shit, he just used Wing Chun inside the cage. Like, it works. Like, if you really know your shit, he trapped his hand and then came right over the top with an elbow. And I went, look at that shit. Tony Ferguson. Because he's always practicing it. Yeah. You know, he's always practicing Kung Fu. I'm going to win by some sort of knee stump, to be honest with you. That's how the fight's going to be over. Oh, man, that's a nice technique. Wing chunk technique. How is that so well? That side kick that he's throwing hyper extends the knee. John's really starting to incorporate that a lot into his game. And it's a very frustrating kick to deal with. And again, not a side kick to the knee. Jumping side kick to the knee. That's so unpredictable. That oblique kick that he's throwing hyper extends the knee. Oblique kick, uh, Joe Rogan famously named it. We call it push kicks to the knee, and uh, we have some other passwords for that move. Uh, but it's a great technique. It keeps my opponents at bay. Um, you know, it's a great offensive move, a great defensive move. What it does though is it keeps your opponent at bay. You love that technique. It stops you in your tracks, literally. Oh man, that's a nice technique. Wing chunk technique. Really torque your knee with his distance. Such an effective technique. Very controversial because they, they hyperextend the knee if they land correctly, but sort of a leg lock. The idea that those should be illegal, I think, is pretty silly. And Jones, as you have said many times, chooses them better than anybody. Yes. Give them a little lump for the rest of their lives. Lump for the rest of their lives. For the rest of their lives. John Jones is a true 